Okay. Uh, this is what I received today from Stjorn. Um, so what we have here is apparently, can't see inside this resin, but from what I was told, we've got a reference orbo cell here. We've got a smaller orbo cell on this side, which is the actually active one that provides the power to whatever it's powering. And um, then also a five volt controller chip in here as well. And as you can see, there is a nine volt battery here, which they say is to provide a reference voltage to the orbo pack in here. He said we can take this off, but uh, for now, for our first test, we'll leave it on. This is a one mega ohm resistor. So let me just double check on that so you can see. Oops. That's it. So 9.8, whatever, almost a mega ohm resistor. And I'm going to screw that in here. Okay, so to uh, just do some quick initial voltage readings. Um, over here. Oops. <laughs> All right, got to get that right. So it's a nine volt battery as we would expect. So, and then let's turn this around here. Okay, terminology for this test. This is going to be called B1, B2 for battery, Orbo 1, O1, O2 for the Orbo reference cells, O3, O4 for the active Orbo cells. So that's just what we'll go by for our terminology here. So if I measure the reference voltage, 0.65, and then this is the active the uh, actual control output here and right now 17 so that's got nothing on it so that is the basic setup and what uh, Sean uh, suggested we do first of all is to put a 220 um, ohm resistor across 0304 and just watch it, uh, see, see what happens. So anyway, that's basic setup.